Kevin, what are you doing? I was going to do some gouging. Why would you want to gouge something? Well, for metal, it's when you want to like take a weld off of two pieces of metal that are you know, like in an in a angle bracket or something and you want to get a weld out of the bottom, you're going to go in there and gouge that weld out. Now if you've got a piece of metal that's just butt welded together, you can gouge that weld out. Now it's just removing a weld, removing steel. So what I'm going to do here is I want to just come into this channel that I marked out and I'm going to gouge out half of this metal downwards through the thickness. It's 5 eighths thick. I'll gouge out this halfway, and then I want to come in and just poke a hole through here. Like if I was going to lay a wire in there, or a cable or something, be able to run down through there. But before I can do that, before I can gouge that piece of metal out, I need to change the tip. Put a different tip on it, put a different cap on it. So let's just unscrew this puppy and get him out of the way. Get my cutting nozzle off and get it out of the way. And then that's a nice new electrode, so it'll still work for gouging. There's no difference in them. So put that part back together. And then I have a gouging nozzle that goes on there. And the difference between the two of them is, if you look, you see the gouging nozzle has a bigger orifice in the end of the tip. This is the cap that I was using, and now this is a gouging cap. And then there's one more little ring that attaches to the gouging cap, and it just screws on there. And then the whole thing goes back on the gun. So now your tip is recessed down inside this cap. So now we're ready to gouge. Okay, so I got my gouging tip on. I got some safety glasses I can wear. Turn on the machine. I'm gonna run it down at 40 amps, just so we don't have quite as much of an arc coming off the end of it. I don't wanna blast all the way through just yet. So 40 amps over there, safety glasses here. I got a backstop out there for all the sparks that are going to head that way. And let's gouge this down about halfway or so and see how I do. And remember, I've never done this before, so you're learning with me. I would say not bad for a first timer, but let's take another whack at it. I think I can do better than that. Let's try that again. cleaned up a little bit better. Practice does make better or perfect, but that's kind of fun. You're sitting there kind of sculpting with the metal as you're working along. I'll have to get a big billet or something and just try carving on it with the plasma and see how it works. Okay, so now that I've got my little channel gouged out, let's go ahead and poke that hole in there that I wanted to do. Nice little square hole right there in the end of it. So all of us round pegs in the world. So there you have it. You know, the Esob Cutmaster 60i. Put it through a few of its paces. I think it does darn well, actually. But to tell you the truth, all this talk of gouging has got me thinking about gorging. And it's lunchtime. So you guys reach down there and hit that subscribe button for me. I'll see you next time. What do you mean, no lunch?